kikao cha kamati ya bunge ya uchukuzi na miundo mbinu na wizara ya uchukuzi lengo ni kubaini faida ya kiwango cha ukodishaji katika bandari za Mombasa na Lamu and we are helping you uh... Akiwasilisha majibu yake mbele ya kamati hiyo, waziri wa uchukuzi Kipchumba Murkomen alisisitiza kuwa serikali haina nia ya kubinafsisha bandari hizo ila ina mpango wa kukodisha sehemu za bandari hizo kwa wawekezaji wa kibinafsi ili kukuza uchumi. The ultimate objective in PPPs is government retain ownership of the projects as well as a defines the extent of private sector participation in a PPP project. Similarly, the government remains accountable for the provision of particular service in PPP project. In terms of labor relations, the concession is expected to absorb a percentage of staff already working and engage several third parties such as contractors for efficiency in respective facilities and therefore no redundancies will be declared. Yes, serikali imeshindwa kusimamia bandari hizo. You are bringing somebody who has the capacity to put 2 billion dollars, 3 billion dollars, 5 billion dollars. The government of Kenya cannot do that. Bring somebody who will pay back the government of Kenya the investment they have. Kulingana na Murkomen wawekezaji hao wa kibinafsi watapewa muda usiopita miaka 30 ila kwa masharti. The process of development there are milestones that every concessionaire must achieve. If you don't meet those targets it becomes a ground of cancellation or termination of the contract. Mamlaka ya bandari imeweka mikakati kabambe kama vile kuwatoza ada kabla ya mkataba. Faida zinazotarajiwa ni msongamano bandarini kumalizika, shehena kuongezeka utoaji wa huduma kuboreshwa na utumizi wa teknolojia mpya katika upanuzi wa bandari. Waziri Murko amesema kwa sasa wamefanya matangazo na pindi watakapopata wawekezaji kutakuwa na mchakato wa kuwachakatua waliotuma maombi kabla ya mikataba kutiwa saini. Shughuli hiyo inatarajiwa kukamilika katikati ya mwaka ujao. Harriet Chimea K24